When I heard his words, his extraordinary, poetic, beautiful words to his wife, um, I became overwhelmed with the tragedy of his situation and how very unfair it is, not just for him, but all the people he loved and all the people who matter to him. How you grow up and focusing on the positive things, keep away from violence, and how you've basically achieved in your career now. It's wonderful to be asked to display courage in being here, but I feel silly saying that when you consider the person who we're honoring is displaying some of the greatest courage that we could hope to witness in our lifetime. Um, I'm sad for the reasons why he has to display that courage. We're just um, really just honored and, and privileged mm -hmm. to share in this event and to be a part of this day in his life. Yes. First of all, I want to say, yeah, I so glad for Ovarahat. Yes. And yeah, Elske Uslu, yeah, Elske Norge, and yeah, Elske Dere. Tusen tak. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of bullying um, from these huge military regimes, which have an awful lot of power, an awful lot of money, um, is is not is not the right thing for the world. And the world needs to change, and and um, we need to make sure uh, that these incredibly brave people, um, who put their lives on the line and endanger themselves uh, all the time. Um, to see that they get their voice heard and uh, the empty chair is, uh, it's well worth writing a song about. The birth of globalization is right now. It's not going to stop. It's not going to go away. I'm glad and honored to be representing India in this whole lovely, um, with this lovely artist here. And um, I'm a believer of peace within, within myself and outside. And so I hope you enjoy my performance along with them. Mm. Um, the Chinese Communist Party should uh, have gotten the award instead of 